Okay, so I'm just gearing up for my, um, what will be the second trip to the fads. Uh, the first one was somewhat successful. Um, got out there, never been out there before. Um, expected, I guess, a smaller size fish. Um, took light gear through 15 pounds, a small stick base. Straight up, it was pretty rough as well. And hooked two fish, two drifts, both over a metre and no gaff, no net and just could not get him in the boat. Had him on the leader and just lost them both on the leader. Just swimming circles, tried to get it, tried to grab their tail, no luck. So, that was with a light leader as well. Um, hopefully go tomorrow. And this, the preparation, this is, you know, I think this is gonna make a difference. I'm not gonna take big camera gear just by myself, it's gonna be, it's just going to be too rough um, to try and film. So, like most people, pretty standard stuff, GoPros mounted on the T-top, and um, I might even get one with a head strap. Other thing, gaffs. We have gaffs now, multiple gaff size hooks, and the biggest net ever, which should be fantastic. So it's still gonna run, still gonna run 15 pound just as a backup, but this time we'll have I've just like loaded um, some 20 pound Tasline onto my bigger outfit. I'm gonna run a bigger lure. This is a West Coast. Um, they're suspending stick bait in 40 grams. Well, I'm probably tied for my um, favourite stick bait. I'm gonna run that. I'll use 60 pound leader and I'm gonna make it a little bit longer just so i'm going to be solo um just so i can grab it get a wrap and hopefully get it into that net and um it should should make things a bit easier um 15 pound i'm going to run exactly what i did last time which is a um zip bait ssm this is potentially i'm not sure oh yeah um this is probably my favorite stick bait um small stick bait Replace the terminals because they suck. I generally put singles on and replace the split, split rings as well. Um, the other thing is, I'm going to be, I'm going to be fishing solo. The pads are 50 kilometres out. Um, probably don't really think it, there's too much danger, but it's, I guess it's probably not the safest thing in the world. So I'm going to wear a life jacket the whole time. I don't have a PLB on it that's coming um, but one thing I'm going to do on the way out is use a proper kill switch lanyard because I don't know something unexpected and it would be very unexpected happens and I get knocked out of the boat having a life jacket's great I'll you know potentially survive although I get freezing so I'll probably die of hypothermia but the boat's just going to keep going and you're never going to see the thing again so Kill switch gives me a good chance and I'll just wear it to my wrist on the way out. I don't think there's going to be too much of an issue idling around um, the fad or the fads. But that's, I guess that's me. That's a bit more, that's certainly a bit more preparation than last time. I'm going to, um, yeah, be as prepared as I can and hopefully, hopefully come back with some fish. Um, yeah, see what happens. So these are these are great. If you want a stick bait that walks the dog, these I feel like are almost cheating. Um, they're amazing how they twitch through the water. It's just the terminal suck. All right. Um, I always have the hook points facing up. Just makes more sense to me. I think that's what everyone does. I just would. Don't know if it actually makes a difference. Now, this to me is just a 50 50. Half the time I get it right first time, half the time I don't. Bang! So we're good. Sweet! That um, is about as little, good as little as get. These can go in the bin, they're that crap. So you can tell clearly what colours 
that I like. Greens. Um, green, blue, looks like a muley. That got hit last time. This will get hit is larger. Um, hopefully we'll attract a big size fish. Morning gents, just uh, logging on for a day of fishing out of the fads from Rotnest, uh, leaving from Woodman Point and have one POB. Expect the time of arrival back at port is 10 a.m. Uh, we'll be at the, the southern end of the, um, the bats. We are on, as you can see, a um, little different this morning. I've got a life vest on because I'm solo. I've set myself up a kill switch here. Um, in case something bad happens, I come out the boat, the boat will stop. Other than that, all standard, we're out a bit later than I thought. The seas are slightly up, but we've got this easterly wind, so they should drop off. Um, I guess we'll see you out there. stick bait and we have a very small tuna Um, in this 
case looks like we're good. So I'll motor over, set our drift, leave these GoPros on and um, let's see if we can finally get a Mahi in the boat. Fish after it, fish after it. Just looking lazy. Still fish behind it. Real lazy. Oh, fish right there. Man, they're good size. Oh, oh! That is a mahi! It's not too big. That is a small mahi mahi. Just got this cord on the cleat. Well, I'm going pretty average here. fish there. Oh, 
close. Solo angling. Oh, I've dropped the fish off. That is awesome. Look at that. I'm not going to get a good shot here. Yeah. This is the fish. Look at that. Could not be happier. Just gotta make sure I miss the fad here. That's that'll do it. Now look at the fish with them. A bigger fish. how you do it that is a good mahi I'm gonna show you with the lure quickly might not be able to see much look at that not a bad fish Maybe not a meter. We'll just let it go. That's a good fish. I just had, he's just dropped that. I've got another one. Or has he?
Mahi, mahi! Come on! Yeah! Looks like a better fish, which will be interesting when I go to land him. I reckon this is when we're gonna start giving this a crack. Missed it again. Oh man, oh, I'm struggling. Oh shit. Oh, you're joking me. Get in. 